Game on players, the other day whilst polishing my gear stick, I thought to myself, racing games have become way too serious and realistic. I miss the days of the classic arcade racer, like pole position or outrun. Then I saw a video from Big Hairy Kev, he was playing something called Horizon Chase Turbo, a modern arcade racer that I'd never heard of, but it was just what I was looking for. All I needed to know is, how much is it going to cost me to download it right here, right now, right here, right now. 1995. surely you can do better than that Sony, this game's been out a few years, plus another 6 if I want the center expansion. You're having a laugh. I'll take the Ayrton Senna edition which includes both for as cheap as chips. I got your mum on my pole position, she's about to lose control. I've got her butthole position, she's about to scream and moan. Cause she's a hoe, oh, 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 she's a hoe. Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back to the channel where I'm going to play another cheap game to see if it gives me pleasure. Today's game is Horizon Chase Turbo, originally released in 2015 as Horizon Chase on iOS and Android, and then apparently improved upon and ported to The Bitch, Sex Box and Play With Yourself Station in 2018. I can't believe I've never stumbled across this game before. Please go and check out Big Hairy Kev's channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Because of his gameplay footage, it made me want to give this a go. So, for my £6, I have some events to unlock, as well as the main game, the World Tour. The Senna Forever expansion pack, where apparently you follow the career of legendary Formula 1 driver Ayrton Senna in cars inspired by what he had driven and iconic tracks he had raced on reimagined. No spoilers in the comments, I can't wait to see how his career turned out, however that will have to wait for another video, as today we'll be starting off with Rookie Mode, which is an expansion you can download for free, and apparently is good for children and beginners, and as I'm a beginner, and I'm taking turns with my son on this one, we've decided to give it a go. There's a few car options to start off with, the rest are unlocked as you work your way through the game. I'm going to start my campaign with this Ferrari F40 lookalike, and for some unknown reason, imagine it's a convertible Testarossa. With the roof down, cruising along Highway 69, shades on, wind blowing through my hair, with a bleached, blonde, tanned, bikini wearing, silicone bimbo by my side. She's a tease! Make me feel fine Blowing my jeans Mouth green pie How dare you! I would! I really like the controls in this They're nice and simple and basic Just like me You have accelerate, brake Which I never use And my favourite of all Turbo Which you get a limited amount of And I find most useful when I have a crash To give me a little boost there's something about this music, it sounds very familiar to me, I just can't place it. Hmm. Well me and my boy managed to smash our way through rookie mode pretty easily. The competition's not very difficult and the track's not too long. Even though we didn't find rookie mode challenging and a lot of the tracks seemed similar, we still had a lot of fun. Travelling round the world, racing and locking all the cars, we travelled halfway round the globe before we realised you can change the colour of the vehicles. And I got extremely excited when I unlocked Herbie the Love Bug. My son was like, who's Herbie? And I said, I know what movie franchise we'll be watching next. I also really enjoyed the game soundtrack. I would say to anyone buying this, if you're good at old school arcade racers, it's probably wise to skip pussy mode, I mean rookie mode, and go straight on to World Tour. With more tracks, more laps, you may find it a little bit more difficult to win chaps. Collecting coins and other items, this is where the game gets back to its mobile origins. You can also run out of fuel if you're too slow. We definitely found this a lot more challenging, a lot of second, third and fourth places even in these beginning stages. But we're having a lot of fun, even my daughter jumped in for a few races. And then she discovered multiplayer. I really must find out what you can do on these games before I decide to play them. 
so you can play up to four player split screen. And me and the boy were having a lot of fun, maybe too much fun, laughing and screaming. We were warned several times by the old ball and chain to calm down a bit and when we didn't, she pulled the plug. At the end of the day, I would highly recommend this game. It's just simple stupid fun and it's as cheap as chips. I'm definitely going to continue to play this and I've noticed as we've been unlocking the cars, this opens up new competitions for those vehicles. I'm planning to do another video in the future as I've yet to have played Senna Forever. Forever ever? Forever ever? Forever ever? With that, I'd just like to say thank you all for watching my stupid video. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, peace. I don't know where Blood Mark is taking us. Blood driving is dangerous. I don't know where Blood Mark is taking us. Blood driving is dangerous. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Black Mark is dangerous. Oh, 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 oh. That prick is dangerous.